If you can't tell, I like to buy myself presents. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So I hope you're all doing well. Today I'm back with another video and it's gonna be, I would say this is my first like Christmas themed video for this year. I know that my recent vlog that I did was a little bit Christmassy and there was some like Christmas bits and bobs in there. But I'd say that this one is the first one where it's like a fully Christmas themed video. So I'm throwing it back to like 2015 YouTube for this. And I just thought I would sit down and do like my Christmas wish list, but also hopefully on here there's some ideas for what to get your loved ones or like friends or family or like relatives. However, if you have never seen me before, then and feel free to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and if you do end up enjoying this video then don't forget to smash it a cheeky little thumbs up and without further ado I'm just gonna roll onto this video and talk to you about my Christmas wish list so let's go so I'm gonna cheat a little bit for the first one first gift is actually something that I did originally have on my Christmas wish list and then I ended up getting it for myself so it was a Christmas gift from me to me and it actually arrived today so I thought I might as well feature it in this video because it's also a really good gift idea as well especially if the person that you're buying for is like really into fitness or they've just started the gym or they've just want to get more into exercise so if any of you watch my vlogs you'll know that I've been going to the gym since 2018 and over the past year with lockdown and everything found it as my like happy place and I've kept with it a lot more so I've moved back home now I've joined another gym back here I went to the gym this morning and then I've also joined like rejoined the personal training gym that I used to go to so I've got personal training on the side so because I'm doing all that good stuff I decided to treat myself to a Fitbit and this video is actually going up at a really good time because if you're looking for a good deal for a Fitbit then this is on offer at the moment. So this is the Fitbit Versa 2. This is one of the smartwatches. So for example, I can like have it connected with my phone. Um, I can use Alexa. I can use like, I can pay with it. I can track my health. Everything that you'd get from a Fitbit is included in it as well. This originally retails at £199, but at the moment in the Black Friday sales, it is £99. I got this from Amazon, but Currys and Very are also selling it for £99 and Argos is selling it for 109 so if you want to get a good Fitbit for someone then I would definitely recommend this one I've been on the lookout for Fitbit for so long and I did not know which one to get but I saw that this one was in the Black Friday sale and it's a smart one as well it does everything that I want it to do plus more and it was a really good price so I'm absolutely buzzing with it I've literally got it on right now and it's just literally buzzed at me <laughs> okay you're gonna have to brace yourselves because there are a couple of shoes that I have included in this like wish list and i don't know what it is with me and shoes at the moment but i love shoes so i've got these as we goes i've had them for a year and a half now these are the jd exclusive pink ones i absolutely love these but one thing that i've been wanting for ages is like the gray ones mainly because the pink ones don't go with every outfit but i love them they're so comfy and they are amazing to go to the gym in specifically i love them for cardio classes so if someone's looking for like trainers for christmas then i would definitely recommend Oswego's. i know they're very very hyped but honestly when it comes to like working out or even just wandering around town these are so comfortable and like i said I really want them in grey. <laughs> Next up is something that has actually arrived and is in my house right now, but my mum has taken it and put it in her room ready for Christmas Day. One thing that was on my wish list was the platform converse, so I'll leave a picture of it on the screen right now. I've been wanting some platform high tops for a long time. They are a little bit pricier, but luckily I'm a size four, so I fit into junior stuff anyway. I did actually pick them up. I know there's a lot of offers going on with like shoe and office. There's probably loads of offers on these shoes at the moment, but yeah, the platform converse are a must. <laughs> Moving on is some makeup bits. They, they, dies, dies. These are kind of like smallish makeup bits, but they're kind of like, anyone doesn't know what to get me, I'm going to kind of see these because they're quite small presents. So one thing that I want is a Morphe lip liner. So I have this lip liner and it's in the shade Bite Me. I absolutely love it. I wear it all the time. The Morphe lip liners are top tier. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to buy a lip liner from like anyone else 
other than Morphe. I absolutely love their lip liners, so one thing that I really do want is another Morphe lip liner in kind of like a browny, nudie colour. A little bit like Bite Me, but potentially a little bit darker than Bite Me if that is available. And then another makeup item which I am running out of. So I absolutely love and this is also a really good present for someone who enjoys makeup because this is like the most practical option ever. And this is the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. I feel like you can never go wrong when you buy a setting spray or brushes because they're the things that are like so practical. And the best thing about a setting spray is that obviously you don't need to get it in like a certain shade because it is literally just a setting spray. I've had my full size Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray for three years now. And unfortunately it is coming to the end and it's kind of one of those things that i put on my christmas wish list because you kind of when you walk into boots and it's like 24 pounds it's around about 24 pounds you kind of look at it and you're like 24 pounds on the setting spray so that is why it is on my wish list but if you're looking to get like someone who loves makeup something and you're not sure what the urban decay setting spray has saved me on many an occasion. Moving on to another technology item which is another thing that I ended up buying myself. If you can't tell I like to buy myself presents. Another thing that I really really want to get before Christmas is the iPhone 13 Pro Max. Now there is a funny story behind this. I originally bought this phone back in September, I pre-ordered it, I upgraded because I'm currently on an 11, I loved my 11 and it ended up being like cheaper than my 11 which is why I upgraded and then like a whole rigmarole happened and then E couldn't do it so I had to order it from Apple. So my phone is supposed to be coming in the next week, supposed to be. So my Christmas wish list to myself from Apple I guess is that I get my phone before Christmas and then finally I have been eyeing up some white boots. I did say there was a lot of like shoes in this wish list. I've been eyeing up some white boots, some similar to the ones that I had on my pretty little thing wish list. I know that Ego are also selling some quite similar for a lot cheaper price. What I would say is that I love boots for autumn and I feel like boots are so practical for this season. Boots pretty much go with everything. Maybe not the most practical with them being white. Um, I bought some white knee high ones from ASOS and they quickly got quite dirty, but you can only see if you look up close. I just wanna rock up on Christmas day with some white chunky boots. Like that is my Christmas outfit sorted. So that was my Christmas wish list slash Christmas gift ideas for 2021. I really hope that you did enjoy this video and you did find it helpful. If you did enjoy this video, then don't forget to smash it, big massive thumbs up. And also feel free to hit the subscribe button. If you haven't already, make sure to also tap the bell down below so you are notified every single time I post a new video a little bit like this one. As always, thank you so incredibly much for watching and hopefully I'll see you on my next video very, very soon. Bye.